Hello guys, Hello guys. I am I'm waiting ready. for the others to come. Okay, so I don't know, do we have to start or wait for the others? Okay, let's wait a bit more. So I'm going to talk about um, acne prone skin, what is the best routine and what are the best products for them. For the people who have acne prone skin because you know they tend to have acnes without any reason um, maybe it's because of excessive sebum production that they have so i'm going to talk about it i'm just waiting about um two or three minutes maybe other people come I'm just waiting for the others to come. Hello, guys. Hmm. Okay. Only three people. <laughs> Okay, then I will start because I'm going to upload this video and others can see it later, maybe. Okay, so let's start. Okay. okay. So the first thing I'm going to talk about uh, in acne prone skin is that skin needs to, tends to you know, build up acne. And skin is most of the time, acne prone skins are very oily and sometimes they are sensitive as well. So as a simple skincare routine, what do we need? We need a cleanser, a moisturizer, a serum, and also we will need um, sunscreen. So, but here, since we have acne, we are going to, since we have acne prone skin, so we are going to talk about acne products that fighting acne as well, okay? So here, uh, the first product that I'm going to recommend uh, is a cleanser, which is for acne prone skin. Uh, the first cleanser that I'm going to show, um, I mean, like, it's impossible to show it, but I will write all the names in the description down below. I will tell the name. Uh, the first uh, cleanser I'm going to tell, Salicylic Acid Cleanser by CeraVe. You can use it once a day. And it con since it contains salicylic acid, it will uh, stop the growth of bacteria in your skin and it will reduce the, um, you know, the, I forgot it. Uh, it will reduce the, reduce the bacteria growth and then you won't have uh, acne. So, uh also since uh, it's a CeraVe product it contains ceramides as well which are great hydrating agent and it's not going to dehydrate your skin uh at all because it contains salicylic acid and salicylic acid can be a bit irritating and dehydrating so that's why it contains ceramides and it's not going to dry and irritate your skin uh, if you couldn't find CeraVe one, there is another one, which is the Inky List. The Inky List also have the same 
salicylic acid cleanser. Uh, both of them are efficient for people who are having tummy acne and they have acne from skin. This one is also good brand and it's non-comedogenic. It does not clog your pores. You know, these stuff are very important. And of course, they are fragrance free. Okay. Um, but if your skin is not very full of acne, but you still have oily skin and the reason of having too many acne are these excessive sebum that your skin is building up, so there is also another uh, cleanser, which is a foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin by CeraVe. This one is a magic because I am using it as well. And what does it contain? It contains three essential ceramides, very, you know, these are hydrating agents. And also it contains niacinamide, which is an anti-blemish whitening agent, brightening agent and plus hydrating agent and also it contains hyaluronic acid which is you know it's the best ingredient it's a humectant and it uh, absorbs the humidity from the outer from the out space and it keeps your skin very hydrated i will write the names in the description let me just write it here Okay, the first product I recommended, salicylic acid cleanser by CeraVe. The second one I recommended, uh, salicylic acid cleanser by the Inky List. Okay, and the last one is a uh, CeraVe. Okay, CeraVe foaming facial cleanser. Foaming facial. Oh my god. CeraVe foaming facial. Ah, uh, you're welcome, Zoila. Foaming facial cleanser. Foaming facial cleanser for oily skins. Okay, so these were the things that I recommended till now. Okay, uh, this foaming facial cleanser by CeraVe, uh, it will remove all the excess oil and sebum from your skin. Plus, it will give you give the hydrating skin to you. Whenever, whenever you wash your face with that cleanser, you feel very, you know, soothed and very soft skin. Okay, so we talked about cleanser. What is the next step that we are going to talk about it in an acne-prone skincare routine? Yes. We need to talk about a hydrating agent or maybe a moisturizer, but you need to know that you are going to use a water-based moisturizer because your skin does not need oil. Your skin is already, already oily. So that's the reason. Okay, uh, since we don't want uh, a moisturizer exactly, so what, what we are going to look is a hydrating agent, a hydrating serum. What are the hydrating agents? Hyaluronic acid, um, it can be, uh, sorry guys, uh, hyaluronic acid and many other, for example, glycerin, which is another hydrating agent. Uh, niacinamide can be ceramides also. So what do we need? We need a serum for that. Um, hello, MZ. Okay, um, there is a product that I'm using it now, and it's very perfect. I didn't expect this much effic effectivity, efficient, efficiency of it. Uh, so there is a Vichy 89 mineral. Vichy 89 mineral. This one is very good. After cleanser, you can apply it if your skin doesn't have any acne. Okay, for this one, 
It's a actually booster and it contains 15 mineral, okay, and thermal water, which is a really hydrating and brightening booster for you. And also it protect the skincare barrier. I am Korean. I want to be good at English. Okay, but I don't know Korean, dear. I can only speak English. Uh, just see the products that I write here. That's it. Okay, um, then I'm going to show you, I'm going to recommend you a hyaluronic acid serum which also contains vitamin B5 by La Roche-Posay. So let's write hyaluronic acid B5 serum by La Roche-Posay. Okay. This is another product that I, I wanted to tell you. Uh, this one is an anti-aging concentrate and repairing, replumping serum. Uh, so we need a hydrating agent and you know, since hyaluronic acid is the best hydrating agent and it's very efficient, very quick. So uh, that's why I'm recommending you the products that contain hyaluronic acid. So this was the serums that I wanted to show you. But also, there are two uh, moisturizer, moisturizing cream uh, that I want to tell you as well. There is a Sebo, uh, Sebo Pure Vegetal Face Moisturizing Blemish Care by Il Roche. Iroche also, uh, Iroche cream, moisturizer cream, is uh, best for people who have blemished skin, okay? You just apply this moisturizer at night, and then in the morning you will see that your skin is hydrated, and plus it, the blemishes reduced, faded actually. So let's write Iroche, Sebo, Pure, Digital face moisturizer. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the next product that I'm going to recommend. The next product is um. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a Garnier daily moisturizing jelly. It's a gel-based moisturizer, water-based moisturizer. And it contains hyaluronic acid and also it contains aloe vera. So this one also very efficient. It's a good moisturizer cream for people who have oily skin or acne prone skin because it's really soft and light and you don't feel anything on your skin. Okay, so let's write Garnier Hyaluronic Olu Jelly. Thank you, MZ. Thank you so much. Have a nice day, beauty. Okay, uh, so let's write this moist try moisturizer. Okay, so uh, this was about cleansers and moisturizer, hydrating agents, whatever. So now we're going to move to the key ingredients for acne prone skin. What are the key ingredients for acne prone skin? As I told you, retinoids and salicylic acid works perfectly for the acne prone skin and, you know, for acne, for fighting the bacteria of the acne, for reducing the sebum production in your oil glands, sebum, sebaceous glands. Okay, so, uh, but since retinol, as I know, as far as I know, retinol is most efficient one. I mean, like nothing works like, <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, uh, for teenagers, 14 and 12 years old, yes, they can use it. 
if you are under uh, if you are uh, over two years old you can use salicylic acid it doesn't matter but for retinol you cannot use it unfortunately if you are under 15 16 years old you are not going to use it so I was talking about the best ingredient for acne, which are going to fight for the acne. So here are two things. Now I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you, okay, uh, Latefa, I'm going to uh, move on to uh, sunscreens as well. So just keep listening now. Okay, right, me, Zui, Zufi, I will uh, answer it. Uh, so now I'm going to give you a tips. See, there are two main reasons for these um, acne. The first thing, uh, the first thing can be about bacteria which grows on your skin. This bacteria you can control it with benzoyl peroxide with salicylic acid. But if it is due to excessive sebum that your sebaceous glands are making. Okay, and then you will have very oily skin or oily skin. So here the thing, you need retinol. You cannot cure it with salicylic acid. I mean, it's hard. It takes time. So what you need is retinol. Uh, but uh, there are some contradictions. You, are go you have to be over 15 years old and you uh, avoid pregnancy if you're going to get pregnant, if you are pregnant or if you are uh, uh, breastfeeding, you cannot use retinol. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to show you best retinol creams that can help you and best retinol serums. Uh, there is a serum, salicylic, uh, sorry, retinol serums, sorry. There is a retinol cream by the Inky List, which you can use it. Retinol cream by the in key list. So this one is a good product which contains pure retinol. But if you are a beginner to retinoids, you need to start three times, three nights or two nights a week, two nights a week, then you can increase it. You need you can find your way with retinoids. So you cannot start it with every night. So from the lower amount, then increase it. Uh, another product is uh, Retinol B3. Uh, retinol B3 uh, Serum La Roche-Posay. This product also is very efficient and I highly recommend you if you are a beginner with retinoid or if retinols are making if retinoids are making you you know some very dry skin you can use this product because why because it contains niacinamide it contains vitamin B3 which can reduce this irritation reduce this dehydration reduce this dryness so that's why I'm highly recommending you to use this one if you are especially beginner and you have sensitive skin. Um, there is also another product, Retinol Serum by The Ordinary. The prices are uh, really cheap as well. Uh, why? Because, uh, for example, this ordinary one, it's like uh, 7 euros. That's it. So it's not a high price. It's retinol 1 percentage. Okay, this one is a bit strong. So uh, if you want, you can use this one as well. This is a good serum. But if you have sensitive skin, I don't recommend it. I recommend the La roche one. Okay, and I wanted to tell you something. You may see on these products that they are writing as anti-wrinkle products and you may think like why you should use it. You are going to use it as an, you know, anti uh, for your acne. So here's the thing. Uh, retinoids can be used for many purposes. They have a broad spectrum usage. 
Um, that can be used for anti wrinkles. What do they? What they do? Actually, they regenerate the surface of your skin, so they can be used for hyperpigmentation, for wrinkles, you know, for uh, stretch marks, for many things. They are going to be used. So do not pay attention to what is written in the product. Just listen to me and buy the product. Also, there is a topical. Retinoid by La Roche Posay, which is 0.1%. That one is very good if you have little acne and if your skin is not that much oily, you can use this product because um, this one, um, because all this one is uh, what I wanted to tell you. This one is very low concentration, that's why you can use it easily. So, I'm going to write the name for you. Topical Retinoid by La Roche Posay. It's 0.1%. So, in my TikTok video, I recommended this product and I told you five times a week. Then, a bunch of people were writing me, Why are you recommending people this much? usage of retinol if you are beginner you need to yes of course i know that you need to start with two or three nights a week but since in this product it says once daily if you look at the product it says once daily so that means it's a very you know light product it's not very concentrated but again if you are a beginner start to use the uh, three or two nights a week so what I want to add here now, so if you are a beginner with retinol and if you have um, very like uh, little oily skin and your skin is uh, sensitive as well, use this product, La Roche Posay Topical Retinoid by, uh, it was Topical Retinoid by La Roche Posay, which is 0.1 percentage, or you can use retinol B3 uh, serum, which is an anti-aging serum, it says by La Roche Posay, the red one. That one really helps you because it contains niacinamide and niacinamide reduces the side effects of retinols. That's why they made it together. Okay, so we have talked about retinols. Now we are going to move on to salicylic acid. So why you should use salicylic acid creams or serum or uh, cleanser if your skin is acne prone, okay? If your skin is acne prone and these acnes are coming from the bacteria that is growing on your, sur and on your skin, on the surface of your skin, then you should start to use salicylic acid. And if you have plus, if you have oily skin. So here's the thing. Uh, now I'm going to also let me tell you something. Salicylic acid takes a little bit more, a little bit more time to show you the results. Okay, it takes a little bit more time to show you the result, but also it can be used for people who have blemishes. Okay, so if you have blemishes as well, you can use this product as well. Okay, so the first product. Salicylic acid, 2% by revolution. So now I'm going to write it for you. Salicylic acid serum. Serum, 2% by revolution. Okay. So that's it. Then we are going to... Ah, uh, about salicylic acid. There's no contraindication. You can use it during pregnancy if you are whatever age you are. It's a safe ingredient. You can use it. Uh, but if you use it too much, uh, and if you have sensitive skin, it will be irritating for you. That's it, okay? So, for, uh, for salicylic acid, you can start to use it um, maybe every night. But if your skin is sensitive, try to start by three nights a week, okay? One thing I forgot to mention, if you are using these products, the salicylic acid products and the retinol products, you need to wear sunscreen during daylight because your skin will be uh, sensitive to sunlight, okay? 
So this was the first product, as uh, uh, the salicylic acid serum by the Revolution. Now I'm going to move on to another product. Let me see what we have here more. Okay, there is a salicylic acid. Um, um, sorry guys, just one minute. Okay, there is a serum by La Roche-Posay. It's uh, ultra concentre, effacular, effacular, effacular serum. It says in, uh, you know, France. That's why I cannot read it. Uh, it's an ultra concentration serum, which is anti-imperfections, anti, -imperfections, anti uh, marks and daily peeling it contains um, niacinamide why it contains niacinamide because it wants to reduce the um, because it wants to reduce the um, side effects of the acids that it it is using the AHA acids and BHA acids of course so uh, it contains lipohydroxy acid which is very good for blemishes and for acne. And also it contains salicylic acid and glycolic acid. Okay, let me write you the exact name because I don't want to, uh, you get mixed. Uh, okay. Let me just write you the exact name because I want you to find the exact product. Okay. Guys, I will ask all the questions at the end, okay? Okay, the name is, what is the name? And the name is La Roche-Posay Effaclar Ultra Concentrated Serum. What does it contain? Let me tell you. Um, also, it can help. To, uh, it can help for breakouts as well. Okay, what it contains? It contains glycolic acid, nit niacinamide, salicylic acid. Uh, these are the things that we are looking for. Okay, so. Let me write you the pr uh, the name here, the full name here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this serum is uh, is the serum that I'm using it, but I'm not using it every night because I think my skin does not need that much peeling. I'm using it three nights, two nights a week. You can start with that, then you can increase it. If it was irritating on your skin, ah, here's the thing. If this serum or salicylic acid serum, which I mentioned before, by revolution. If you use this product and you thought that it's kind of irritating on your skin, stop it, rinse it with water, and after three nights, uh, after three days later, you can start to use it again because maybe you squeezed your um, acne and then you have some kind of, you know, open wound, and that's why it's irritating you. So just give for three to four days break, and then again, start to use it. Uh, this one price is 24 pounds. A bit pricey. Okay. Uh, since we are talking about salicylic acid, now I'm going to talk, uh, now I'm going to tell you about a moisturizer which contains salicylic acid. Okay, a moisturizer which contains salicylic acid, and you can wear it at night, but do not use uh, other salicylic acid products or serums at the same time with this products because it will cause dryness and excessive irritation on your skin. So, CeraVe salicylic acid cleanser, uh, sorry, CeraVe salicylic acid moisturizing cream. Yes, this product also can be. Very, very efficient. If you have blemish prone skin, it also exfoliates your skin and used for bumpy skins as well, uneven skins. So let's write it here. Sully, silic acid, moist 
moisturizer, moisturizer cream by CeraVe. Okay. This one is not that much pricey. I don't know the price, but it should not be that much pricey. And it does not, is does not, do not uh, panic if you are going to apply it, for example, for a long period of time, because it's not going to dry your skin or maybe irritate your skin. Because why? Because it contains three essential ceramides. So ceramides can reduce the salicylic acid side effect, which is dryness and irritation. So um, this was about also the salicylic acid uh, solution by the ordinary. This one also a serum. I don't know. Did I mention it or not? No, I just mentioned by revolution. Okay. There is also salicylic acid by the ordinary. Salicylic acid, uh, sorry, serum. It's a serum. Do not forget to write it. Uh, salicylic acid serum by the ordinary. It's two percentage. It contains two percentage uh, salicylic acid for blemish prone skin and acne prone skin. Okay. So if you wish to use this product, do not forget to wear um, moisturizer in the day. And also, uh, you need to use um, what? Sunscreen. A sunscreen, a good sunscreen as well. So... Now, I'm going to talk about uh, the moisturizers that, I'm um, sorry, the, um, what I wanted to tell, a sunscreen for acne prone skin. Okay, I have a sunscreen here to recommend you, which contain salicylic acid again, but it's a sunscreen. It is a sunscreen and it's really non-sticky and not heavy at all because I am using it as well. Wear it in the daylight. Also, it is a mineral sunscreen, which is really good option. So we are going to light right salicylic acid sunscreen by La Roche Pose. So uh this was a sunscreen. So if your skin is very oily and very blemished, very acne prone, you can use this product. But if your skin is sensitive and dry, but you still have acne, sometimes oily, you can use the other product. There is a mineral sunscreen, hydrating sunscreen which is very good for dry skin. So let's write hydrating, hydrating sunscreen. Hydrating sunscreen by CeraVe for oily skin. Okay, so this one also is a good choice. It is non-greasy and very lightweight. So if you have combination skin, it also can help you. It is a mineral sunscreen. It contains ceramides and niacinamide again, which if you even have blemished prone skin, it can help you again. Uh, it's uh, And uh, do not forget to wear sunscreen, which is SPF 50. SPF 50, not below this SPF. If you are not going outside, if you are inside the house and you don't see that much light, uh, sunlight coming to you, you can use SPF 30. By There is a moisturizer, let me tell you, moisturizing, a moistri, moisturizing sunscreen by... Wishy SPF 30. So this one also is very, very light, but it, it contains SPF. So it's a moisturizer, but it contains SPF. So it can act as a sunscreen as well, but this one cannot be used for outside because you need SPF 50. 
okay this one is by wishy very light and really quick absorption uh, also the one that i recommended by uh, by large pose really absorb very fast and it's not uh it's not like very white it doesn't make your skin very white it doesn't make your skin white at all also the moisturizer uh, cream by Vichy as well, which contain SPF 30. This one as well is very good product. Uh, it depends on your skin. So if you have very oily skin, very acne prone, very blemished, salicylic acid sunscreen by La Roche-Posay. If you have dry skin, breakout skin, but still you want to use sunscreen uh, and moisturizer at the same time, and you're not going outside, you can use the moisturizing sunscreen by Wishy, which is SPF 30. But if you want uh, to go outside, but still you have oily skin and you need hydration and you need sunscreen SPF 50, you can use sunscreen, hydrating sunscreen by CeraVe. You know, CeraVe products are very good hydrating and uh, using very good hydrating agents. And it is going, it is used in most of its products. So if you have breakout and if you have very dry skin, sensitive skin, CeraVe products can be a very good choice for you. Um, okay, this was about, okay. This was about um, the, uh, all the information, all the products that you need to have. You don't need to have all of them, of course. You need one cleanser. I recommended many. You need a moisturizer or hydrating serum. I recommended many. You need um, retinol. I recommended many. If, uh, according to your skin type, according to your issue, you may need um, salicylic acid. If you have um, blemished skin, you will need salicylic acid serum. Salicylic acid cream, salicylic acid moisturizer, sunscreen, I recommended too many. And plus, you need a sunscreen, which I recommended. Three sunscreen according to your skin type. So that's it. Um, now, if you have any question, just write me. I will answer your questions. You're welcome, Zoila. I wish it was helpful for you. I wanted to make a video about it, but I was like um, kind of busy and I thought it, it can be fun if we talk here and you can hear me online. But I could not show the products, which was really bad. I will try to write all the names in the description down below. I, I also wrote the names here, but I will also add them in this in description. Can you read the comment I wrote more above? Okay, Sophie, let me see your comment. What cleanser do you recommend for someone which acne, dry to normal skin and acne scars? Or any other products you recommend that might help me. Okay, for someone with acne and also acne scars, I don't recommend uh, any product for acne scars because first of all, you need to um, get rid of the acne. Because even if you, for acne scars, guys, you need uh, something to, you know, peeling your skin to renew your skin okay so when you are doing this if you again have acne then you will have acne scars again and your skin can be damaged if you peel it off you know so close together so the reason um it was the reason i recommend you first cure your acne get rid of the acne I, very, I recommended very stuff in this video. Uh, so you can use one of those stuff, uh, one of those products according to your problem. And uh, 
if you have uh, acne prone skin and you have acne scars but your skin is dry to normal i don't recommend you um, the cleansers that i recommended now you need to use um because your skin is already dry mm -hmm. i recommend you a uh, cerave face wash cerave cleanser uh, which contain, uh, which is for dry to normal skin, normal to dry skin, okay? CeraVe cleanser, normal to dry skin. Do not use very strong products because you are going to use some products to get rid of the acne. If you use, for example, salicylic acid cleanser, it will cause breakouts in your skin. So that's why. And uh, for curing your acne, for getting rid of your acne, I recommended some products. I told you the cleanser as well. You need a moisturizer as well. Use one of the moisturizers that I recommended according to your skin type. And for acne scars, I, I told you, first you need to uh, get rid of the acne and then we will talk about acne scars. I also have a video about acne scars in my YouTube channel. Okay, so... Any other question, guys? You're welcome, Zofi. Okay, guys, I wish you jo you were joining my life and you liked it, and it was I wish it was helpful for you and helpful for the other as well that are going to come and see this live um do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i kindly request you because this is the only way that you can support me and do not forget to like my video and follow my tiktok account have a nice weekend doctor uh have a nice weekend too Zo zoila okay Thank you guys for keeping up with me. Um, I may come on live uh, in my TikTok now. If you want, you can join. Okay, thank you guys. Bye-bye.